telling me that energy drinks are bad for you. I'm drinking caffeine that's flavored like orange juice. I don't think it's good for me. That's not why I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it because my undergraduate degree left me with a caffeine dependency. People on TikTok are making videos saying that Celsius energy is doing things to them like this woman who had an entire breakdown because she thought her Celsius energy drink was laced with something. Because from the couple sips I had, I, I was already tweaking. It felt like I was off of edible. <laughs> That's positive for amphetamines, positive for benzos, negative for everything else. Celsius is a popular energy drink that's been making waves in college campuses as well as beyond. Today we'll be uncovering the story behind the brand, its partnerships, the legal battles that it's been facing, and the health concerns associated with this highly caffeinated beverage, as well as addressing the importance of reading. Full disclaimer, and as soon as you guys hear about my experience, you'll realize that this video is definitely not sponsored by Celsius or any other brand that I'll be speaking on today. This video is for educational purposes purposes as well as spreading awareness on the highly caffeinated beverage. To give you guys a little background with Celsius, it was founded in 2004 by Steve Haley in Boca Raton, which is in Florida. I don't know if I said that right. Now the company released its first energy drink in Sweden in 2009. I'm guessing he had connections. He is a European. And since then, Celsius has expanded rapidly, gaining popularity, especially among fitness enthusiasts, as well as college at Leeds, and that's where it all went wrong. And in 2022, Celsius launched Celsius University. Do jumping jacks every time I say Celsius. The university was pretty much a program that was designed in order to create paid student ambassadors who promote the product line on multiple college campuses. Now, studies have shown that students often rely on caffeine to cope with the stress and anxiety of their demanding coursework. I don't even think there had to be a study for that because it's evident. Walk through university and you'll see how many people are drugged, I mean caffeinated. I'm drinking it because my undergraduate degree left me with a caffeine dependency. Now Celsius University taps into this by encouraging students to advertise the drink directly to their peers. And we know how easily influenced peers can be when they see their college mates drinking something and or advertising something. Now, despite this drink being banned, Celsius continued to partner with college at Leeds. They were unhinged. They were here for marketing. They did not care. Because if you really want to talk about it being banned, it doesn't really do much. You know, you can still infiltrate whatever you're trying to achieve into whatever system or people but we're not gonna be talking about that today. So because Celsius University could not be bothered, in 2023, they began working with college football quarterbacks, Bo and Nix from the University of Oregon, as well as Michael P. Jr. from the University of Washington. Now his last name is this. And no matter how I say it, it always comes out as something that I shouldn't be saying on camera. So I'm not going to say it, okay? But that's his last name right there. Yeah. In January of 2024, they expanded their partnership to include basketball players such as Juju Watkins, Jared McCain, Cody Williams, as well as Kwame Evans Jr. Now, obviously, I am not a medical professional, but I can say that the high caffeine content that you find in energy drinks like Celsius can be extremely risky for young athletes, potentially leading to heart problems as well as other health issues. You can play with a lot of things in your life, just don't play with your health. Why did nobody warn me about Celsius energy drinks? I for real thought it was just like juice with a little oomph. I pick it up, the bottle says kiwi guava sparkling. So I'm like, okay, you know, real cute, real simple. So I'm taking a couple sips. It tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. But then my body start buzzing and my heart start beating fast. I said, oh, can't do that one. <laughs> Let me put this down. Because from the couple sips I had, I, I was already tweaking. It felt like I was off of edible. I didn't even finished the drink. I took a couple sips and I had to put that down. Some of y'all will finish the drink and then grab one to drink. Right. Addicted. Never drinking Celsius again. If you're one of the millions of people that love drinking Celsius energy drinks, you're gonna want to watch this video. People on TikTok are making videos saying that Celsius energy is doing things to them, like this woman who had an entire breakdown because she thought her Celsius energy drink was laced with something. Well, this cardiologist on TikTok is gonna tell you exactly why you should not be drinking Celsius. Watch this. Anyone ever tested the Celsius energy drink for me? 
because I drank one five hours ago and I still feel like I'm about to have a panic attack. I don't know what the f*** is in these, but if anybody needs a tree pulled out of the ground, their house moved over a couple of inches, or a car repoed with my bare ass hands. It's the caffeine, besties. People realize this, but energy drinks can have a lot of caffeine. For example, Celsius, 200 milligrams of caffeine per can. Monster can is about 160 milligrams. Bang Energy has 300 milligrams of caffeine per can. It's one of the most common reasons for people having palpitations or extra heartbeats is their consumption of caffeine. It can cause palpitations, extra beats, abnormal heart rhythms, make you jittery, can make you anxious. Long-term consumption of energy drinks, if you're having two, three cans a day for several years, that can lead to long-term heart issues. I, I drink a lot of caffeine in the form of coffee myself. It's how I can get, get my days going. But um, everything in moderation is key here. We're going to test this for science to see if it's true, if the rumors are true. <gasps> That's Positive for amphetamines, positive for benzos, negative for everything else. Wow. Nothing makes me scared. Do you see my hands? Do they look like they shaking to you? No. Let's see what this Celsius energy drink does to my blood sugar. This is Celsius energy sparkling orange flavor. And this entire can has only 10 calories. It's also got a lot of vitamins in here and 140 milligrams of caffeine, which is where I will get most of the energy from, I'm sure. And this is sweetened with sucralose. I'm not expecting a blood sugar spike, but you just never know. I've had a lot of requests to do this one. All right, it's been a couple of hours since I've had the Celsius. I do wanna add that all of my tests are done on an empty stomach after a 16 hour fast. So this caffeine really hit me. Let's have a look at the glucose monitor to see if anything happened. No, there's no blood sugar spike here. I did get a big burst of energy, most likely from all of that caffeine. I don't normally ingest 140 milligrams at a time, so I'm quite sensitive to it. So as far as my blood sugar goes, this is okay for me, but it may be way too much caffeine for me to have in one sitting. Remember that individual results will vary, especially if you're diabetic. Stay tuned for more. Now, Celsius has faced several legal battles. In 2021, the company was banned from the NCAA, National Collegiate Athletics Association. They were banned for containing substances like these right here, which are on the NCAA banned substance list. Show you guys how unhinged Celsius was. They did not care. They do not care. Let's keep going though. This ban obviously aimed to protect student athletes from harmful stimulants, as well as prevent performance enhancing a drug use. In the same year, Celsius was actually sued by Flo Rider for breach of contract. Flo pretty much claimed that the company withheld revenue details during his time as the ambassador from 2014 all the way to 2018. The court ruled in his favor, awarding him a whopping 82.6 million in January of 2023. I just wanna say God is good in Jesus' name. Mm. I wanna thank the jury, Judge Haynes, my attorneys, Kelly Ustall, John Ustall, Christina Pearson, D3M, my strong arm family. <laughs> I mean, this was a long journey, but we prevailed. From the start, I only wanted what I worked for. Nothing more, nothing less. I was instrumental in Celsius that you know and love today, such as myself. Mm -hmm. I put them on my back, and Celsius, Celsius accompanied me all over the world through my videos, concerts, appearances, and social media. I mean, I gained a new respect for the judicial system, most importantly, and I just wanna say God bless America. In November of 2022, Celsius faced a class action lawsuit for allegedly misleading customers about the use of citric acid. 
Celsius claimed it was used for flavoring and not as a preservative. Now the lawsuit was settled out of court, which I would never recommend, allowing customers to claim refunds for their purchases. Oh my days, you guys messed up the bag. Y'all fumbled the bag, y'all had an opportunity and y'all let it slide. Don't settle outside the court unless it is in your favor. I am not a lawyer, but I have brains. That's all I'll say. Now at this time, we're gonna be talking about the health concerns. Celsius drinks contain a high level of caffeine with warnings on their cans advising against consuming more than two servings per day. The caffeine content in various Celsius products ranges from 100 all the way to 300 milligrams per 12 ounce can. This reminds me of the Panera drinks where they're trying everything but to get rid of them, which they finally got rid of the Panera drinks. If you don't know that craziness that was going on at Panera, you are lucky because I was one of the people who consumed that drink, not knowing how high it was in caffeine. Now caffeine does the opposite with me because when I consume caffeine, most times, except this one time with Celsius, most times I fall asleep. Caffeine makes me sleepy. Now Celsius, <laughs> it did a number on me, but let's keep going and I'll let you know exactly what happened. As you guys can think for yourselves, consuming high amounts of caffeine can lead to serious health issues, issues with the heart, anxiety, as well as addiction. You're addict. You're addicted. Oh. Is drinking an energy drink every single day or multiple energy drinks every single day health promoting? Probably not. Will it lead to liver damage? With a pre-existing medical condition? Maybe. Could it lead to cardiac arrest? Increase anxiety? Heart issues in general? An overall decrease in immune health and overall wellness? Absolutely. Caffeine safety limits for adults is 300 to 400 milligrams per day. One can of Celsius has 200 milligrams people are promoting drinking multiple cans per day. Not good for our hearts. Quantity is so important. An energy drink here and there, not a big deal. Every day and multiple times per day, kind of a big deal. Need a little boost before your workout? Try eating, sleeping, and maybe some coffee. Quit telling me that energy drinks are bad for you. I'm drinking caffeine that's flavored like orange juice. I don't think it's good for me. That's not why I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it because my undergraduate degree left me with a caffeine dependency. Here's the deal. You guys know that I love a good cosmic stardust, Alani New. It's absolutely delicious, but there's a reason that I don't ever usually drink a full can of them. Now, energy drinks aren't necessarily inherently bad. However, there are a couple of things that I want to talk about in terms of regulations around energy drinks and just the sheer amount of consumption that we might see in individuals, specifically adolescents with energy drinks. There are so many energy drinks available on the market nowadays, and the caffeine can range anywhere from 150 milligrams all the way up to 300 milligrams. There might even be some in that 400 milligram range, which is a little bit scary. When it comes to emerging evidence that we have on energy drinks, one of the main concerns is specifically in use, which makes me think of New Girl. Being negative health consequences in young individuals, specifically related to mental health, insomnia, metabolic, cardiovascular, and even renal problems. I don't necessarily think this is from just drinking a singular energy drink. I think the main issue lies in the fact that we don't necessarily recognize how much caffeine is truly in these. And because they taste so delicious, like she said, it tastes like a flavored delicious orange juice drink that packs 200 milligrams of caffeine. Why would someone choose to drink a coffee over drinking that unless you're like me and genuinely love the flavor of coffee? And so when we have adolescents that are drinking multiple of these energy drinks a day, we are going significantly past the recommended dietary allowance for caffeine which is 400 milligrams in a day. Something else that is similar to like supplements and why we get worried when they're not third party tested is a lot of energy drinks classify themselves as a supplement. The FDA has a 71 milligram of caffeine per 12 ounce soda recommendation, but beverage companies or energy drink companies can sidestep this by classifying themselves as a supplement where then they can increase their caffeine per 12 ounces of fluid. Now, the other concerning part is, is when it's classified as a supplement and it is not third party tested. This is why as a dietitian, I always recommend getting third party tested supplements. What is on the label does not necessarily have to match what is in the product. 
is why there have been collegiate and professional athletes who were taking supplements that were not third party tested and then they tested positive for a drug test because you don't necessarily know what is in those products if they're not tested for purity and potency through a third party testing organization. To be totally transparent with you, I don't know if I know a single energy drink that's third party tested. I wouldn't say that energy drinks are something that you have to completely cut out and avoid because like I said, I love to have my couple sippy sips of an Alani Dew throughout the course of the week because I love the taste of them. However, I would recommend cutting back if you are someone who finds yourself drinking two, three, or four of these a day, maybe limiting down to one per day and staying closer to that 400 milligram recommendation or even under that if you can. Now, it is especially concerning for teenagers and young adults who may be more sensitive to caffeine. I didn't think I was sensitive to caffeine until I drank Celsius and I still have it with me and I'm not drinking any more of it. To put this into perspective, let's look at other common drinks that have caffeine in them. Firstly is the original Celsius, which is 200 milligrams Celsius heat, which is 300 milligrams. Red Bull, the 12 ounce is 111 milligrams. Regular black coffee on an eight ounce cup is 95 milligrams. Green tea at an eight ounce cup is 30 milligrams. And Coca-Cola, 12 ounces is 29 milligrams. As you guys can see, Celsius is the life of the party. It has significantly higher caffeine levels compared to other popular beverages. Now, according to their website, Celsius claims to accelerate metabolism, burn calories and body fat and provide essential energy. So quick story time. I took Celsius not too long ago. And by not too long ago, I think it was about two, three weeks ago, maybe a month. I went to my favorite grocery store and I was looking for liquid IV. Now I usually take a lot of liquid IV. Like I said before, this video is not sponsored just because ever since I've moved to America, the water here is not nutritional. If you guys have water recommendations, please drop them down in the comments below. I've tried pretty much any and every single one. And they just don't hydrate me like how I was hydrated back in South Africa. No hate, no shade. I just want to get hydrated. I want my minerals. Now I couldn't find it this day and I asked the worker, hey, what is something close to the IVs that you guys usually have here? And he pointed out Celsius and that guy was most likely a paid actor because there is no way you recommended Celsius to me anyways. Long story short, I took Celsius. Now, reading is essential, like I said before, because they actually now tell you, because of the lawsuits, how many servings you're supposed to take a day, which I already addressed in this video. It is two a day with some type of working out. I drank one and nothing was happening. I was working and stuff and nothing was happening. So I was like, hmm, what's another one, right? Yeah, I drank it towards the end of the night, mind you. Go to sleep. Can't sleep. I didn't even go to sleep because I couldn't sleep. You know when you're in bed and you try to psych yourself into sleeping? I tried that method. Usually, typically, it works on a regular non-Celsius day. But in this day, I was fighting for my life when it comes to sleeping. I was begging my body to shut down. I had to even... Here's a picture right here, actually. I had to go as far as picking up some weights as you guys saw in the picture. Now I took this picture because my husband was out of town and I was telling him, I can't sleep. Obviously he was already 10 dreams in and didn't see the message, which was fine. I just wanted him to know that I couldn't sleep. I had to pick up weights and work out for an hour. Of course I didn't record that because I didn't think I was gonna be making this video, forcing myself to work, to overwork out. And even then I could still feel the energy. Now, let's take a break. Somebody might be listening to this right now and saying, well, that's just what I need. No, boo, that's not what you need. I would say if you really, really need the caffeine, honestly, just have black coffee, no sugar added, nothing, maybe even have Red Bull. But Celsius, that's that's for, I don't even know who it's for. Maybe it's for the aliens. Maybe they need it to take over the world. I don't know. And as you guys can see, they also started adding their caffeine content. Because of how many times they've been sued, you would think they would just get rid of it, but... Business is business, I guess, when it comes to making money. Now, while it may provide a quick energy, well, a long lasting 
energy boost. The high caffeine contents that you find in there are not worth the potential health risk. It is very crucial to consume such drinks in moderation and please be aware of how your body reacts. When I saw how my body reacted, I was not going to mess with Celsius ever again. And here are the contents. Y'all can count it. I drank two. It has 14 in here. We are left with how much? If Johnny had eight apples. So I leave you with one important question. Have you tried Celsius and how did your body react to it? Are you drinking Celsius to this day and how is it making you feel? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please stay healthy. And I'll see you guys next time.